motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. He's saying, greetings, family. Queen here with another great episode. Before we dive in, let's get into a present state of consciousness. Take a couple of deep breaths with me. Another beautiful morning, another great day. This morning started out exceptionally well. I had my one hour of self-love with yoga and meditation. I'm actually getting, um, getting a lot better with my yoga practice. I'm seeing some improvements on the stretching And I'm seeing some improvement as far as um, the um, the length of time that I'm able to to sit in my meditation without having all the mind chatter going and things like that. So hopefully you are progressing as well. Hopefully you are advancing in your human abilities. So in this episode, we're talking about are you evolving or devolving? I want to play this little clip for you real quick. It's come back to me, Beverly. I know who I am. What I am. That clip was sent to me yesterday. It's from... um, the series Star Trek. Now, I'm not a Star Trek person, but I'm going to watch some of the episodes. I didn't realize all of the metaphysics and quantum physics that was involved in in these um, Star Trek episodes. So I'm kind of curious now to see what all they were talking about. A lot of times, things are hidden in plain sight. If you look at, you know, various movies, various, um, I mean, one in particular movie, we can all agree upon, The Matrix. If that is not the epitome of what we're living in, in the state that we're living in. Um, It's just right there in your face. I mean, right there in your face. Neo, the name Neo comes from the neocortex in the brain. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so anyways, I'm going to be watching some of these Star Trek episodes just to uh, see, to kind of pique my curiosity. But, um, Let's talk about this. Are you evolving or devolving? You know, um, I I like to take stock in where I started and and where I am. I've just always been that way. Uh, I have a competitive nature and not so much competing with other people, but competing with myself and um, looking at how I've progressed in certain areas of my life with my health, with my relationships, with my own spiritual walk, and with my own evolution. And you know, I'll have conversations with humans from time to time, not very often, 
but from time to time I'll have conversations with humans. And it's quite interesting that the majority of people talk about the same thing, they tell the same stories, and they, they, don't, they don't move off the point where they are. Because this universe is expanding and moving and growing at such a rapid pace, we are moving into the fifth dimension. Half these humans I talk to, they don't even know what that is. They don't even know what that means. So right now we're in the third dimension of consciousness. There's 11 dimensions in this universe. We are collectively moving into the fifth dimension. Intuitiveness is coming online. Clairvoyance is coming online. Remote viewing is coming online. Being able to tap into the consciousness of others. All of that is coming back online. That's called the golden age. So now, if you're not tapping in, if you're not going inward to cultivate, because it's in everyone, intuitiveness, clairvoyance, astral traveling, all of these things is in each and every single one of us. We, we all have the same uh, biomolecular structure, but it's only up to the adept to actually take the time to cultivate this energy, to expand this energy, and to grow this energy. And a lot of that comes through your meditation. Your meditation will assist you in going within and raising that energy, raising that frequency within yourself to actually cultivate these things and to bring these things back online. We're all superhuman. We're all supernatural. The elites don't want you to know that. That's why they dumb you down with, with negative news, negative media, negative social media, prescription drugs, tell you to eat meat, tell you to eat all these harmful things, keep you sick, keep you depressed, because they want that suppressed. They don't want you knowing that you're a miracle, that you're magnificent. They don't want you to know that because then when the collective gets the overstanding that we have these powers, it's over for them. It's game over. It's game over for them. <laughs> you won't see wars. You won't see all of these uh, poverty, you know, hunger, all these different things that are taking place on this planet. You won't see that stuff anymore. When the collective consciousness rises up, when the energy, the consciousness of the collective rises up, that's when we'll have heaven on earth. But it starts with each individual person. So my question to you is, are you evolving or devolving? And when I say evolving, I'm saying in every aspect of your life, becoming a better being, your health, your relationships, your consciousness, your spirituality. I'm not talking about anything religious. I'm just talking about using energy and becoming a better being. Look back over the last 12 months, the last year of your life. What things have you progressed on in your life? You know, a lot of humans want to sit back and point the finger and blame. It's the government's fault. It's Russia's fault. It's China's fault. It's women's fault. It's the men's fault. It's the kids. It's the millennials. It's their fault. It's everybody else's fault except for you. Look yourself in the mirror. Your life is where it is because of that person in the mirror. And until you get enough confidence, until you get enough gumption, to start to make the change within yourself. Michael Jackson told us a long time ago. Start with the change with the man or the woman in the mirror. So you look back 12 months and you're in the exact same place, space that you were 12 months ago. You're dying. Not only are you devolving, but you're dying. 
because you're standing still. Nothing can stand still. Everything in this universe moves and vibrates. One of the seven laws of Tehuti. Tehuti. Seven laws, hermetic text. Everything vibrates. Everything has a rhythm. It's moving. We are constantly moving. Everything. Nothing is sitting still in this universe. Even those things that you think are sitting still, that are solid matter, they're moving. They're progressing. Because we're nothing but a bunch of atoms. That's it. So now if you're listening to this, and you're one of those humans that have had this in the last 12 months, been exactly the same as it is today, then now it's time to rise up. It's time to rise up. Because we're going into this next dimension with or without you. And if you don't have these, I'll say supernatural, just for lack of better terms, if you don't have these supernatural powers online, you're going to be sitting there wondering, what, how do I fit in? You know? Like, how do I fit in? And the easiest step, the easiest step is for you to sit and be still and to meditate. Well, Queen, what do I meditate on? What you meditate on is raising the energy that sits at the base of your spinal cord, your root chakra, there's a reservoir of energy that's sitting there waiting for you to tap into it. As you raise this energy through your being, you open up all of your seven main energy centers, or you can call them your seven main chakra centers, or your seven main endocrine glands. And once all of those channels are open, your health becomes better, your mental becomes better, diseases fall by the wayside, your relationships come better. You can now think clearly about the projects and the things that you want to do with your life. You just become fully online, connected to the divine consciousness. This is the natural state of our being. The elite knows that. So that's why they do everything that they can to distract you from going within and finding that power. But what I'm here to tell you, why I came to earth is for this message. It's for you to go in and find that power and bring that power back online for yourself. Now I could talk about this all day, but as you see, my voice is leaving me. So I'm going to end this episode. If you have questions, go to my blog and ask your questions. This is the most important message that I could give you. All my other episodes allude or lead you back to this, but I'm giving it to you straight, no chaser as my grandmother would say. So anyways, have a magnificent day. Keep loving on yourself. Expand your consciousness. Raise your vibration. Raise your energy. Connect with the divine source. Bring your power back online. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.